Ha! Golden stables my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? <laughs> uh, Come back. Get him, lads. I want that place. Sick of trouble. He got blown all the way over here. You're finished. They even get to do anything. Suckers. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is, the hero of the Golden Stables. That's me. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. Yeah, all in a day's work. Don't set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. <laughs> you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. I, lo I love these side characters so much. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. <laughs> Fine. All right. Our work here is done for now. We go back. Speak to Gave. I think we're going to the, the capital. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just gonna double check that book real quick though. <laughs> just to make sure. Cause you never know. Never know a side quest. Like maybe sometime there. God. Never know. Oh, I'm gonna ask about this guy too. I do what Otto tells me. Suppose you you could say I'm his right hand man. He's a hard master, but not nearly as hard as my old one was. When that man beat me bloody and threw me into onto the streets to die, it was Otto who found me and took do me I in. See it? I owe him, and so I I help him look after the ledgers and as well as reading through all the reports coming in from our allies across the twins. And if it sounds like some someone out there put needs our help, I need make a note so I can point any willing sir, volunteers in the right direction. Fine. I can't read. What'd you say? Are you willing? There's no sure way of turning Otto's frown a little less frowny. It's not upside down. Okay, we're good. Think you can help? We did all of them. We're good. We can leave now. After I sell some stuff. Five, was it? Yeah. Look what the curl dragged in. Yeah. Go on then. Come there again. Go. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. <laughs> she says well, that. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to come and go as he pleases. 
Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. That was nice of him to say, considering Clive's still dying about that, like, upset, you know, because of his whole brother and stuff. Crap. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's a party of just all dominance. We got, we got Shiva, we got Ifrit, and we got Ramu all in one party. Like, come on. <laughs> We're the dream team right now, baby. Fire, ice, and lightning. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Oh, are we without Jill? It's gonna be fine. Well, how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off? They're such gossips. They're always talking about her. Stop doing it. It's Chocobo. Where's my Chocobo? Is it safe to ride to Northridge now? The tree was awful. Good boy. Good boy. Nah. I don't think this is the right way. No, I think we just gotta keep following the path. Beautiful. Hello. Hi, oh, woman. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. Has friends in the south. Oh man. Oh really? Have you gotten to test it out yet? Alright. What did you say was in these pies again? Give me one of those hams. Fresh fish. Bowl from the sea of Christ this very bowl. With reds, whites, ales, meats, sides. Where's the dame? Oh. Not any fresh, huh? Where's the dame? Welcome, welcome. Well, I went. None of these are better. Oh. I want to buy it, Zubian. 
Had to wait. Before the storm. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, there she is. Sup? A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The <laughs> flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. <laughs> Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. She's pretty. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's do this. You say these are all from down the... Are you gonna buy something or not? Hi. Let's do this. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. Bruh, but she's trying to sneak you in! It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Hello? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. This guy! That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, 
We can speak more at the Vale. Okay. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so fun! How uh, how far are you guys? I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Oh my. Uh, it's not bad. This is a brothel. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Excellent. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. <laughs> now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okie dokie. Start here. Here? If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. You. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb, a gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. Aww. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. I hope nothing bad happened. Let's see what her chambermaid can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. What? I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. <laughs> Did she... Say anything to you before. Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. Uh oh. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. 
He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. I'm kind of worried what he did then, because she probably the told garrison. him no, and then he probably did not Seems like that. To the barracks is in order. Excuse me, you there? Yes. The gentleman with the sword? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. <laughs> I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Sure, Would sure. Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Why not? <coughs> Marvelous. Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are fresh from the master's table. Nothing dangerous, I hope. <laughs> Why, of course not. Sure. They're merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. I don't... And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Is it a live animal? Is it a snake? You said it's snakes? You trying to kill somebody? I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Oh my god. How did win a game? Did you say the gate? I know, it sounds so sus. Sergeant's got it in for us, too. Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. <laughs> the dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Empress finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. Oh, you're gonna fight me! It, Branded. Care to show us how you earned that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Fine. Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I hope I that fixes it back up. Either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Let's fight. No. Let's get the measure of you, shall we? Yeah, yeah. Draw your blade, sure. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. They're calling me old timer. Maybe. Or here. I don't know. Who's in? Oh, oh, you mean the old timer on the bot. Oh my God. Stop it. Oh, and when you go cry to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Yep, sure, Leon. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Right. So you know one end of a blade from the other. 
You good, Leon? He didn't even land a hit on me. Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. I'm not afraid of you either. Let's go. Bring it on. Come on. Let's do it. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Send the whole castle if you wanna. Make my life easier trying to sneak in. I know, right? I hold my tongue for a start. It's over. You guys haven't even... Okay, you haven't even, like, hit me yet. You got potential, I'll give you that. Yeah? Me. Like, what do you mean? You guys really talked a lot for not being able to stand on your two feet for more than like five seconds. Ah, yes. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> the dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullet he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? No! Tell her we got a few good hits in? You hit the ground pretty hard, does that count? Puh! I spit on you, puh! The Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil then. I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. But what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers. And yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin. Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. But to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Heck yeah! We're, we're, we're feeding people? Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. Okay. What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today, that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Man, he's putting himself in a lot of trouble uh, sneaking away from the capital. Uh, undermine. 
can't let people starve as well. Yeah. Wait. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. What? But... Huh. You look like you need a rest. Here you go. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. Jesus, they're not even allowed to eat in front of people? At least. Oh, that's so upsetting. Get out of my way. I wasn't talking to you, Nami. <laughs> the look she gave me, she's like... I might as well go do these, and then I'm gonna pummel that guy because I'm sure he hurt that poor girl. The right to you there! Fancy a drop? Come, treat yourself! Well, like a plum! I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Okay! He me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. It is something terrible, isn't it? It said an eerie tonic. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink. The very oh. best, specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find that? They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. All right. Betienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Yeah? Wait. 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 Wait, sweetie. I have no business with Brand. They're all so mean! Well, I have business with you. A package, fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. <laughs> he seems so mad. Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Come Fine. Here. Hand over the goods and be gone. I'm gonna hold you like a little baby. Like a little baby. There you go. Now you can't cry like a little baby, huh? Can I hold you like a little baby? You little baby. Now you can stop crying. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Kisses. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm busy. I'm busy. No more kisses. No more kisses. You can sit and you can watch. No more kisses. Stop it. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false. Yes, you might. Yes, I can you always take you it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. Yo! Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars? Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. They really treat branded like crap out here. Jesus! There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. Hi, Dan. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. I was ending pretty soon. In like 30 minutes, though. You do- Nope. Oh my god. Why didn't you say so? 
<laughs> Times are hard. But this year it'll make them less so. For a I while must. at least. I must. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Thanks. Mostly because I, I owe you guys a Last of Us Part 2 video and I, I need to record one and edit one today. Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. He's trying Okay. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive taste. <laughs> yeah, I think he's... Is. How can they afford to maintain them? Oh my god, I know what he's doing. Find out. I know what he's doing. He's going to try to court one of the ladies in the, oh, the veil. Unacceptable. That's the day done then. <laughs> All right, let's see. Should be... Ah. Whoa. I have something for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Randit! Who told you to rest? Stow those damn flames! <gasps> She's turning the stone! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. She's so young! Did you see her? her one of her arms and legs were gone? Oh my god. Get out of my forge. If I'd wanted another bear, I would have sent for one. You branded her nothing but a nuisance. <laughs> you ah you have returned i believe these are yours he's going on a night out with one of the ladies i'm calling it right now delightful the dame will be pleased or you don't say and would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. Huh. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. Yeah, that's weird. As scarce as chocobo teeth. Hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. But the mother crystal's right there! Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. I'll get that orchestrian role yet. All right, back to this side quest over here. And then we'll continue on with the, the story for a little bit. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! You'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you.
Here. It looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Then wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. All right, I'm going to go turn this in. Ladies, ladies, I have returned. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Val's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. So no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Yeah. Uh, you know, Brian, I wasn't going to plan to. I wasn't planning to, but, uh, I don't know. I've, I've played enough Final Fantasy XIV to know Yoshi P. Uh, it's very good at, at everything he does. So I was like, I'm going to do side quests. And then I realized, like, the first couple side quests, I actually really like the side stories that come with them. So I was like, I'm just going to do all of them. Screw it. I, I find myself really enjoying the characters I've been meeting, and I feel like I'm actually doing some good work, I guess. I like that. Plus, plus mostly because of the, the Blight stuff, it makes me uh, think of Dragon Age. And if it's anything like Dragon Age, when the Blight spreads, uh, those areas become completely locked. And you can't do anything anymore, so I was like, oh, I'll just do them as I go, just in case I can't go back to do them later. Yeah. What's a weed art? Ew. Is you my little lady? Is you my little baby? I heard the bones fell favorably. You. The veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <laughs> <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. Uh... On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. It's not been half a moon since Bellin's tour. Oh no. I hope he has not kidnapped her or something. Life, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen.
Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. Is there nowhere there I can go to get this mark removed? A favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. I saw some people burned him off, but like you, you can tell there was a like mark there, you know. Ugh. The markets are a veritable middle. They're not saying. Oh my God, they are saying that about me, aren't they? Oh, this is beautiful. Orifla, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Choker boys, choker boys. I don't want to fight the choker boys, so I just want to grab this thing. I know you guys are kind of angry, but I'm not going to go attack you. I promise. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I feel like someone somewhere has like some kind of magical capability to remove the mark or something. No! <laughs> How could you? That's enough dallying. Up, the lawyer. They still work. You branded here yeah. now. Fine. You're late. What kept you? What? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. No. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go, and see that you kill the beast. I want to beat this man up so bad. For someone whose son's in mortal danger, he didn't seem all that worried. Yeah. Something's right here. I need to be careful. The wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Oh, okay. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Sick of Toggle! Don't let them get away! Die! Okay. So what was going on here? No! You aren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Are you freaking kidding me? Like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. You should put the sword to him too, come on! Oh my god! The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. They've been sending them for sport to get them killed? Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again.
I feel a little sick to my tummy. That's messed up. The heck's wrong with them? You, Brandy, come here this instant. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. All you right, Joffrey. The branded I bought. Are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That wretch would be the dame. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can we back him in? another hound. A bigger one. A better one. Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. No, we can't leave him here. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. Yeah, I should have Torkel go How beat him up. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Some of them look like kids. All victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Clive's a good dude. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Is this your doing? Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. 
Invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For the help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. I'm not sorry to see them go. Nope. That little kid was gonna probably grow up to be more monstrous than that dad. Oh, man. That was satisfying. I'm so sad about these people, though. Right? Oh, man. Yeah, Brian, I don't think I'm gonna skip a single one. These, <laughs> these side quests are just so good. Oh my god, look, there's just some blood here now. They're they're gone. Good. Had another branded drop in the field yesterday. Um have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She's beautiful, white hair. You notice the she difference on how he speaks to children and, and she's the adults? Ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. Aw, don't case, cry. Let's not keep her waiting. I like that. Like, you can really tell the, the tone of his voice is different for children. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Oh. Oops. Can you stop jumping? There we go. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Well, I had this horrible feeling all of a sudden that the pets actually are branded and I really hope I'm wrong because that that's, it will really show how messed up this area I'm in is. Oh. Oh, okay. Chloe? I don't think that's Chloe. Yeah, more brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that... someone napping on the job? I hope they don't mind the interruption. I was right, wasn't I? I was absolutely right. She was talking about a human. Oh, no. Enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? 
Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... I can't blame her. She was raised this way. Although that look. I know. Oh no. But that, uh, I don't know. She's just as bad as that little boy. Little boy killed him for sport though. I don't know. That's so dark. I know! Jesus Christ! Is the people of Moor, too it's much emotion right now! It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Oh my god! Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. For now, I'm Many sure. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. The fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Where's that man? He left? You weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. Oh my god, with these people. Gossips! What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. He stole her comb? I don't know where he went after that. My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. I hope uh, be sure and tell they ran away together, and I it's not helpful, something diabolical that I'm thinking it is. Helpful.
But apparently I keep running into things that seem like w they're a lot better than they actually are. So who knows? Oh, am I? Did you not see the last two side quests I just did? <laughs> it smells of death here, Togo. Oh, great. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Give them all you've got, boys. Bloated. Oh, they've eaten their fill. God. They were right there, dead. Why are these wolves carrying 80 gil? It's fine, it's fine. Damn it all. Bodies. Who are you all the way out here? Been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You? Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things. Thank you, Tundra. I have. Right. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb. It was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with the dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. So I'm confused though. Did she come here willingly? Or or did she come after this guy because she knew he's the one who stole it from her and she wanted it back? If it was a message. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but... You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, Brian, that's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if she found out he's the one who stole it. She went to go ask for it back. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. 
I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. If the blood was old, though, did the wolves actually kill them or someone else do it? Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't either. I wonder if he... No, he... I don't think he killed her either, though, because then why is he dead? Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil Maybe? counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. True. Or did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. God, I think he is. From that cutscene we watched. I bet he is. I bet they're gonna just uh, turn tail and leave this place over here because they know the blight's coming and they don't feel like trying to stop it at all. Oh, there it is. Weren't expecting any new branded until the You shut your mouth! You shut your mouth! I got no potions. I could buy some, but I keep running into them. And then when I die, they give them back to me. So it's like, eh. Oh, I, I don't think I really need to buy any potions. Oh, look, two gil. How great. Now I can go buy potions. <laughs> no more sadness. Why are you lying to me again? Wow. trouble on the way none worth mentioning as I was telling Jill it's worse than I thought the capital's crawling with soldiers and here I am the deserter come home which is why we'll be taking the back door excellent excellent The pleasure house, as you say, it's pretty. Is that why it's all painted red? Oh my god. She doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. <laughs> so then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. I'm sure he was just massaging out a knot. points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. 
Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the Hammer. <gasps> Poor Jill! But that's not important. She sees you. If the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight. If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment oh yeah, he's, get, he's really getting them, in there. You decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. <laughs> Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. He's so chiseled. First, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Okay. I'll do anything for you, Sid. <laughs> Guys, I wanted to actually end like. Oh no. Please let me just. Let me just. Can I just. Can I. Can I just. Uh, Go to my map here. New. Oh, maybe I could just travel here and then save. I know, right? All right. Yes, this is a good spot to save, and we'll continue tomorrow.